Deuteronomy 31-6 Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Hey wonderful people, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how I achieved this cute hairstyle. I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved six stitch braids on myself with curls. Let me know what you guys think in the comment below and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Yeah, without further ado, let's just get straight into this tutorial. <laughs> So yeah guys we're just gonna jump straight into this tutorial as you guys can see my hair is already prep and um, I did go ahead and wash my hair um, the night before and I did put in leave-in conditioner that's why my hair feels so soft and it's easy for me to comb out um, I have lost a lot of hair like since I gave birth my hair is literally I don't know I've just lost too much hair but you know I still have enough to do tutorials for you guys so I'm good <laughs> so i just go ahead and just you know part my hair in the center i'm just doing a straight line in the middle and i'm using my phone as usual to record you know just to see you know what i'm doing as you guys can see i don't have a mirror everywhere <laughs> but i do have a mirror in front of me and i'm also using the gummy edge control just to you know apply this on my parting just to make sure um i kind of get like a neat partings and making sure that everything is in place so i do go ahead and literally start sectioning my hair i'm just pre-parting just to make this hairstyle a bit more easier for me i feel like if you're doing your hair yourself or if you just want braiding to be a bit more easy for you pre-parting is just the best because you know you don't have to go over partings again and you don't have to be parting your hair while braiding it you know that's out the way so that's what i did i just go ahead and pre-part my hair into six um you know partings or six sections because that's where i'm gonna be braiding my partings might not be perfect because guys yeah parting my hair myself is not easy so at this point i'm actually happy that i think i did a good job so i'm happy that you know it, it kind of came out all right so now i'm gonna start doing the stitch braids as you guys can see i do have my mini fingers you know already with my is it stiletto i think it's called stiletto nails or shape so i've got the shape to obviously do stitch braids because this is how i usually do my clients stitch braids anyways i just use my mini fingers to you know do the stitches so in my head i thought i was going to be able to do the stitch braids with my mini fingers but at this point i attempted it as you guys can see i was like yeah you know even while i was sleeping the night before guys i was literally thinking about yeah i feel like i'm gonna do it with this you know the thing the, the small fingers because that's how i usually do on people it's going to be easy <laughs> and obviously this is my first time doing stitch braids on myself so it was pretty hard as you guys can see my face i was struggling the struggle is not from hair guys my hands were hurting so much and i feel like the stitches were not coming out the way i wanted it because i wanted it to be a bit perfect i know for someone else this could have been okay but because i have like thin hair especially on the sides as you guys saw i just feel like I, I should have made it a bit more thicker i should have added a bit more hair from the starting point of the stitch braids but i was like you know what that's fine i'm just gonna leave it let me go ahead and attempt the next one i did go and attempt the next one it didn't work so in my head i just thought you know what let me use another method so the method that i decided to use was to actually section my hair into small pieces like you know into small boxes um as you guys are going to see now so i just went ahead and section it and i used my edge control which is the gummy i feel like maybe i shouldn't have used the gummy because the the hold of the gummy was just too much and i just felt like i should have used another you know edge control maybe like an olive oil edge control or even the cantu edge control but at this point i just i was just using what i had with me so i just go ahead and keep sectioning as you guys can see i did this all the way to the end just because i feel like once this is done i can literally just braid usually what some people do is that um they would actually 
do like a mini braid where they're sectioning like once you section you just do like a mini braid and then everything is in place and you just braid it all the way down as you guys can see um i feel like while i was twisting it going to the back i feel like i didn't really twist my natural hair in the middle so it would have been easier for me to obviously once i put in the extension for everything to literally be in the middle so this is what i did i did go ahead and first start with my natural hair did a normal braiding at the front then i started adding the expression obviously depending on how you want it to look you can obviously add bigger you know um increase the expression or you can do it smaller because some people they usually braid their hair all the way maybe to the middle before they start adding expression but because i wanted mine to be a bit more um a bit more full if that's the word to use i wanted it to have a bit more volume so i decided to add or increase my um extensions so as you guys can see it's a bit more easier while i'm braiding it with it already pre-parted even though it hurts my hand still hurts because i'm braiding back so it hurts but it's a bit more easier because then i don't have to be trying to do the stitches and i don't know if you guys see what i was talking about because i did the pre-parting or the twist of my hair not in the middle so as i'm braiding literally the braid just went sideways but at this point i couldn't be bothered i just left it because it wasn't that bad maybe i was just overthinking it but as you guys can see it does have a bit of volume to it so which is good so now i'm just going ahead to do the next braid i'm literally doing the same thing which is to you know braid my hair first like the first two and then i just start adding the extension so this is all i did for the rest of this you know tutorial really in terms of the stitch braids and i just feel like when it comes well i feel like when it comes to doing stitch braids there is different ways to do stitch braids there is different techniques if i'm doing it on someone else i can actually use different techniques but on myself i feel like it's not everything it's not really every technique i can use you just have to use what works for you really so for me this technique worked and because it was my first time doing stitch braids i feel like i did a good job let me know what you guys think in the comment below anyways if this technique was a good technique for me to use and if you would definitely try it because at the end of the day like i said you have to do what works for you and yeah so i just went ahead and repeated the same method so that you guys can actually see what i'm doing this is how the back looks and like i was saying earlier on about the braid that i just did before this one i don't know if you guys can see the the mistakes but it's okay because i wasn't ready to go back and part my hair for that part so i just went ahead and continued because i wasn't planning to keep this hair for too long anyways so it was it was a cute you know protective hairstyle and a cute tutorial you know so i'm doing the same thing on this one so yeah you guys just keep watching and by the way guys today's um script chart is so powerful just because i feel like sometimes when we go through stuff we feel like god is not with us we feel like you know sometimes when we go through problems we go through um situations we always feel like god is not with us but we need to remember that god is actually always with us even though sometimes we get scared sometimes we don't want to attempt to do things because we feel like you know what if i fail what if this happened what if that happens but we need to remember that god is always with us god is always protecting us god is always guiding us no matter how we feel like you know fear comes upon us we need to remember remember that fear comes from the devil fear is not from god like i'm speaking for myself as well fear is not from 
from God. It's from the enemy. The enemy tries to put fear and for us to doubt ourselves and for us to doubt the fact that God is with us. And sometimes we give up along the way, just like how I was doing this hairstyle. I was talking to my friend and so many times I was like, oh, who even sent me? Like, God, I beg. Who asked me to do this hairstyle? But sometimes when you don't give up, you get to see that even if what you was doing or what was happening was not the best or was not perfect but sometimes the end result gets to show you that thank god you didn't give up you know because sometimes you might actually just get what you want even though it might not be exactly what you want but maybe it's what god wants for you at that point in your life but yeah, just, rem just remember that in every situation or whatever that is happening, God will never leave you nor forsake you. Um, sometimes he's just working on something that, you know, is, you know, good for you, but would also be the best thing that would happen to you because he knows what we need. So yeah, so don't allow the enemy to fear you. Don't allow, you know, people to make you feel like you can't do what you want to do in this life. As hard as it is, guys we all go through things and sometimes we feel like god is not there but he's definitely there just preparing something that would literally shock you <laughs> and i say this for myself as well because sometimes when i go through things i literally become scared i literally become like i literally feel like oh uh, this situation is so hard like this is impossible but we need to remember that there's nothing that is impossible for god because what god cannot do does not exist <laughs> so yeah so you guys just keep your head up and um just keep feeling positive and let me know what you guys think about this like if you guys want me to start like you know speaking more about the quotes that i put up um as you guys can see i have already come to the end of the braiding um i went ahead and dipped the ends in hot water and then i'm just applying my mousse this is the olive oil mousse and um i wasn't really too fussy about the ends because i was gonna wrap it into like a mini bun and i did go ahead and use the cream of nature i found this in my hair stuff thank god i should have used that for you know braiding my hair but it is what it is <laughs> so i just go ahead and put a bit on the on my rat tail comb and then i was just trying to make sure everything is tucked into the braids properly and i'm also using this edge control to style my baby hair you guys know i love a simple baby hair but i feel like for this hairstyle i just want it to be a bit you know just be a bit extra like it's not everyday simple sometimes you have to be a bit extra you know you have to you know be a bit dramatic <laughs> so i just thought you know what let me just do something a bit different to what i would usually do so i just went ahead and just you know did like a cute freestyle on my edges the edges that i have been managing for so many years we thank god we thank god <laughs> but yeah so i just go ahead and just style it as you guys can see it's something different and i feel like it's so cute i know it's it's not like proper dramatic but it's different to what i would usually do and i just go ahead and use the olive oil extra hold um spray to just you know lay down my edges and um i just go ahead and just wrap my head to make sure everything is laid and i just leave this for a bit and go off and do my makeup so yeah now i'm just gonna go ahead and take off the headscarf just to see the final result as you guys can see it's looking cute it's looking cute you know and i look like a mad person right now but <laughs> definitely i was gonna go ahead and fix my forehead um as you guys can see i did go ahead and fix my forehead and set my face one more time at this point i was thinking because my plan was not even to add curls on my hair my plan was just to do six braids and call it a day but then i was like why don't you just you know um add some curls just so it gives it a bit more detail and it's just cute, extra cute so i went ahead and just wrapped the um you know the back like i said i just wanted to do like a ponytail is it a ponytail no a bun <laughs> i wanted to do like a bun so i did use an elastic band just to secure it sometimes you can go ahead and sew 
the bun just so it doesn't unravel or whatever but obviously because like i said i wasn't planning to keep it for long so i just went ahead and used a rubber band to secure it so now i'm adding curls so i'm using the crochet method as you guys can see yeah usually just using the crochet method is just a bit more easier so that's what i did i did few at the back i think i went ahead and put like four strands of curls at the back or five i can't remember and then i decided to add some few curls at the front well not few like two <laughs> um at the front and i was just so happy with how the hairstyle turned out so i put one on each side and i literally just did the same crochet method um so yeah so for the back because i didn't want it to be too long so i went ahead and just wrapped the curls and just leave some hanging just so that i can get kind of get that goddess look so i just went ahead and just wrapped everything and left some hanging and for the front i decided to cut it a bit because i didn't want it to be too long but then thinking about it now i feel like i should have left it long but it is what it is <laughs> so i went ahead and add some mousse to it if you guys can hear noise it's just my son please forgive me but i just went ahead and add mousse just to define the curls and then i went ahead to add some um how do you call it some accessories to it um yeah and this is the final look guys guys i am so impressed with myself hey ah god i thank you for this talent too but yeah this is the final look and i feel like i'm so happy with the look i feel like adding the curls just made a big difference let me know what you guys think about this look and my son was right there disturbing me and i just thought why not do a video of him <laughs> but um yeah so this is it let me know what you guys think in the comment below please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also don't forget to turn on your notification bell to get notified for whenever i post a new video